Welcome to Arsenal Online. Here you'll find the latest stories and news about Arsenal. Welcome back fellow Gunners across the world. Arsenal vs Burnley Match Report Arsenal were held to a disappointing goalless draw by a stubborn Burnley side who refused to be broken down on Sunday afternoon. It was not really the response Mikel Arteta was looking for after his team's Carabao Cup semi-final defeat in midweek against Liverpool and highlighted the weakness in the current depleted Arsenal squad. Aaron Ramsdale was surprisingly busy as a determined Burnley kept Arsenal on their toes. He made several smart saves that kept Arsenal in the game. The visitors kept getting men behind the ball in numbers, making it tough to find space in the attacking third until captain for the match Lacazette had a couple of lovely chances but could not find the net. Kieran Tierney and Bukayo Saka also had their chances but just couldn't finish. The second half was equally as frustrating. Martin Odegaard came closest for Arsenal, as did Emil Smith-Rowe, who caused Burnley all sorts of problems. There was a heart-stopping moment in injury time as Burnley nearly snatched the points, but as the whistle blew, disappointingly for Arsenal, the points were shared. Bottom of the league, Burnley were definitely the winners on the day, with a vital point to keep their survival hopes alive. Arsenal now lie in 6th place with two games in hand over 5th place West Ham and one game over 4th place Manchester United. The Premier League is now in a mid-season break and the Arsenal squad are jetting off to Dubai for a warm weather training camp before their next match away to Wolves on the 10th of February. A disappointed Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta spoke after the match saying that a lack of quality in the final third cost Arsenal the points. We have to find a way to win the, these games if you want to be fighting with the top teams. We didn't start the game well enough, not quick enough. Everything was a bit leggy and slow. It would come up and it doesn't. It's true in the first half we picked it up in the last 15-20 minutes and we came out in the second half really strong and we had a different kind of intention. We were more incisive, we penetrated much more, the speed of the ball was better, we were playing forward much more, we had runs in behind, we had the right width, but at the end we didn't show enough quality in those last 20 metres and in the box to win the match. Aaron Ramsdale admits that the goalless draw with Burnley was a big missed opportunity. Speaking to Arsenal.com after the match, he commented on his team's lacklustre performance. We didn't really take the game to them. I'll give credit to Burnley, they defended well. We put balls in the box and that's meat and drink to Burnley, so it's a difficult one. It's definitely a missed opportunity for three points and to gain places back in the league. But I'll take the positive of a clean sheet with the defending of the whole team. But definitely a frustrating day. So there is just over a week left of the winter transfer window and Arsenal have yet to sign any new signings to bolster the team. But Mikel Arteta has reiterated that if any new players were to come in, they must be able to take Arsenal to the next level. After the disappointment of the draw against Burnley, he spoke to reporters about his plans to add to his squad. It's what we planned, but the market is difficult, it's complicated, we knew that. But it's a lot to manage and we have to make the right decisions with players that we believe are going to really help us and try to bring in ones that can take us to the next level. When he was asked about whether he expects any incoming players before the January 31st deadline, he continued, Well, we are certainly trying, but I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. 
Let's see, it's not only our intention, but a lot of facts that are needed to happen. Players that come here have to be able to take us to the next level. We already have a level, and we want to see much better standards than we already have, and that is how we're going to recruit. So, a thoroughly disappointing week for Arsenal Football Club, and as they now jet off for a holiday, oh sorry, warm weather training camp, time to reflect, train and come back bigger and better for the remainder of the season as Arsenal go after, with vigour and intent, that all-important fourth place finish in the Premier League. So what do you think? Leave a comment below to let us know. Thank you for watching Arsenal Online. Please subscribe and ring the bell for all the latest Arsenal news.